Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Paige here for another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tour. And we are on the island of Ian. And this is a fairy core island and I'm using a dream address. So I'll include the dream address in the description box below. But let's just take a look at her map. So we have Lissy. Alicia, Audie, Raymond, Marshall, Tangy, Stitches, Meringue, Diana, Static, Sherb, and Dom. And her dream address will be included in the description box. So she has a lot of my favorite villagers and actually some of these villagers are on my island of Stardust. And so I am so excited for this island tour. We are going to just be wandering around her little fairy core island and looking at all the little elements that she has placed on her island. And I hope this will give you lots and lots of inspiration. Just check out that stool with the book on top. Already we're starting to see unique and different fairy core decor. The duck on the puddle is super darling. And she has also got a little fairy door over there. I like her little pathway, how she's put custom codes along the pathway, and also the big log, the log stump pattern. And check out the little sand angel. That is so different and fun. I absolutely love that. Oh, and here's some gifts she's left out for us to use on her island. I love the lily pad code on the ground and the little log not log, but wood, wood pathway, the lit wood planks. She has a different color down here on her beach with the white. Oh my goodness, there is a cute little girl. Oh, thank you, Alicia. Oh my goodness, she is cute. Look at her sunflower crown. And then all the princess crowns here on the table on display, so darling. She is so cute. I want to say hello again. Oh my gosh, look at her cute little face. She's wearing the little doll dress. You can get that from Nook's Cranny. So heading up this way, she has her rock garden. And in the center of the rock garden, it is the mushroom stool. And that is so different than any other rock garden I've ever seen. I think that is super cute for a fairy core island. We've got a little library out here where one of the fairies is writing a book with a typewriter. And look at the little stack of books on top of the stool. I absolutely love the Lily Music Maker. Just in case you're wondering, that is a DIY. The Secure Blossoms here are really darling. And oh, here's another gift. Let's pick this up. Pick up another gift. I love that the little gifts are like a sack with a little bear face on on the side whoever designed those is just dar is just darling so we got an axe and the other one was i don't know i have no idea maybe it was a shovel i don't know very useful when you come to her island she's given us a fishing pole and a bug net so we can go fishing if we want and just explore her island and have fun at the same time. I think that is super duper cute. I love all the butterflies and the star fragments and the Nova lights. She's got a little painting area here where you can paint with the watercolors. And the name of that painting on display is The Birth of Venus, which is my absolutely favorite painting of all the paintings. I love that one so much. 
And as you can see, she has lots of lilies of the valley showing that she has a five star island. The tiny library in the pastel colors is so cute. And there's the museum. Oh my gosh. It's up on the cliff and that's a really good spot because Blathers deserves a really good spot on the island. Here we have Dom and Dom is, Dom is not an easy villager to get. Raymond, Dom, Audie, they're very rare villagers. Look at this strawberry patch on the beach. Oh, I love this strawberry, the strawberry stall. And then she's customized some of the Zen cushions with strawberries. What do you think, Moraine? Do you love all the strawberry stuff? So cute. I love Moraine with her little strawberry on her nose. And then the jelly donuts are probably strawberry filled. We've got some sparkling apple cider out here for a celebration. And the festival items. Notice the custom codes on the sand. She's got little flower patterns and then a flower ring around the candle and the water. Oh my gosh, the watercolor water. All right, let's check out this little fairy's house. Oh my goodness, so cute in here. So the fairy of the island is taking care of these butterflies. She's probably going to release them back into the wild when they're, when they are, she's done observing them. What a cute little fairy house on the beach. That is such a great idea. I love the flower cart and the bunny tree. Here's a little table with a gnome. Okay, so we're just gonna head over here and take a look around at the museum. I absolutely love that beware of fairy signs, so adorable. And she's decorated her museum to be more natural. The landscaping is more natural and woodsy. And we've got a little honey farm back here to have some delicious honey. I love these little honey pots. And then she's got the beehives. Look at that cute yellow um, bug net. Isn't that so darling? Let's take a look at the bug net she gave to me to use on her island. Oh my gosh, so adorable. So we've got a little little area for the bee, the beehives and the bee farmers, and all the yellow flowers are very cute. And then out on her beach, oh my gosh, look how many, look how many times she's had a five-star island. Oh my gosh. So just a little information, if you keep your island at a five-star rating, you'll get a lily every day that you keep it at that rating. So she has been working hard keeping her island at a five-star rating every day. So good job, good job Lizzie. Here's her campground and oh my gosh, the butterflies everywhere. And I love the moon up there on the cliff. Oh my heavens, look at this. It's a little letter writing area where you can write a letter and then put it in a bottle. So it's like a message in a bottle and it can float across the ocean. That is such a cute idea for a fairy island. And check out that pumpkin farm up above. I'd really got, like to go and get a closer look at the pumpkin farm. So I'm just gonna grab my ladder, ladder and 
head on up there. That little gnome is so cute for the pumpkin farm. And the scarecrow, of course. Oh my heavens, this is so darling up here. Look, she has the pumpkin table. That is so, so cute. And the little gnome matches because he's got an orange little cone hat and a little green outfit. And there's another moon up here. That is so pretty. I love the moon. What a great idea for a fairy, fairy core island. All the moons. And here we've got a little table for snacks and a cup of tea. The jelly donuts look so yummy. I love, love, love those. Who doesn't love a jelly donut? Raspberry flavored, of course. And notice the rock pathway. This is what I was trying to point out earlier. So I'll put that in the description box or in the custom code area for you all to be able to grab that code and use it on your fairy islands because it makes your island look more natural. And check out the carousel, the fairy carousel merry-go-round. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so I see Lizzie down there. I'm gonna run down and say hello to her before she disappears because that's one thing on dream addresses is you don't always see the creators of the island and here she is. The little fairy, blue, blue fairy of the island. Oh, how cute. She says, hiya. That is so adorable. Look at her bunny ears. Oh, and she has a little blue purse to match. Oh, and look, she's got flower lace for sale down here for all the fairies. Or maybe she just gives them away. So we've got a little flower lay farm. I can't believe the curls on her face. And the Cosmo shower. So notice that she's growing limbs down here to make more fairy lays. Maybe when the fairies come visit her island, she gives them each a flower lay. So adorable. And the mushroom coat is cute. Here we've got a little water outdoor bath area to take a little fairy bath. Oh my gosh, there's fairy houses up there. So when the little fairies come visit, they can stay. Or maybe they're the re maybe they're the fairies of the island up there. Do you believe in fairies? I definitely believe in fairies. So comment be down below if you believe in fairies because I definitely believe. There's Diana. Look at the moon chair over there. Oh my gosh, you can hop over. Oh, she's cute. So sweet. Thank you, Diana. So check it out. You can jump over and sit in the moon chair at night and look at the stars. And then she has all of her favorite items out here for the farmer's market. How sweet. Oh, the, the gnome, he's mowing the lawn. So I think the little farmer's market boxes up here where they, they just stow their boxes for the market at the top is a cute idea. That's really, really cute. And check this out where you can hop across. I absolutely love hopping. So anytime I have a chance to hop, I do it. I just love it. And the archways are so cute for a woodsy fairy island. She's customized those in the two colors that you can pick. All the flowers are so pretty.
All the flowers are in fairy colors, so like the blues and the yellows and the purples. And check out the watercolor pond. I absolutely love this beyond belief. Oh my gosh, so, so freaking cute. So cute to sit out here on the water and just look at the fish. She's done such a great job with all the water on her island. You could just take a picture of that and oh my goodness, it's a cave. Oh my gosh, you guys, a dark spooky cave. That's where the fairy witch might be living. The fairy witch. There's good fairies and then there's dark fairies. Here she's, this is the fairy brew. Little puddles of water is very interesting and fun. Every part of her island is decorated so cute. Oh, I love this little plant stall where you can buy plants for your house with the cherry blossom bonsai. And I have no idea what that other plant is. So we've got the Mario pipe that leads somewhere and more um, not acorn arch, but pine cone arches. I keep wanting to call them acorn arches, but they're not. Oh, and here's Tangy's house. And she sells mushrooms. Oh my gosh, how cute. How cute. Oh, with she had an orange tree. How adorable for Tangy's little house. Now we've got a bench out here to sit and look over the water. Watch the butterflies fly around. All right, so should we check out the fairy? Oh, there's a fairy circle. Okay, we're gonna check out the fairy of the island's house. I love the mushroom wreath on the door, so adorable. And her house is very peaceful. Let's just sit and take a look around. I like that she's used the natural log furniture as her furniture inside. It just provides the log cabin look of, the, of her house. And how would it be to have a little fairy house like this on your island? So pretty. I love the flowers hanging on the wall, the dried flowers. And here we have her cute, sweet little granny kitchen. Anytime you use this vintage wallpaper, that's what it reminds me of is grandma's house. Oh, look at the flower in the vase. And she has the anniversary of um, the anniversary cake for Nintendo Switch's first anniversary or Animal Crossing anniversary. I don't know. Anyway, that's a very important cake. Everybody that was playing Animal Crossing during that month got a cake in the mail. Here is a glow in the dark room. How interesting. So that's the glow in the dark wallpaper. And then you've got the glow in the dark, of course, the moon chair. So that little fairy loves to look at the stars and do all of her astrology like stuff. Here's a sweet little bathroom with the Cosmo shower. And of course, it's in those soft pastel pink colors. This is very tranquil and beautiful. Love it. And 
And then notice how she's divided this into three or four different rooms. So you've got the game room right here where you can play games, the gaming room, and then you've got the computer laptop room with the switch. So you can do your office work or whatever work you have to do on the computer. Then the library to come and read a nice book. And then this is my favorite room of all, the get ready for the day room where you can try on all the different head pieces, hair bows, and look, there's fairy dresses on the wall. Oh my gosh, and the shoes. So that's like her little fairy closet. Very good use of that room. And this basement, oh my gosh, did you ever expect it to look like this down here with the pyramid and the sphinx? Wow, check it out. She has photos of all her favorite villagers. Oh my gosh, this is like a memorial of all her wonderful villagers that she absolutely loves and adores. That's so fun. Wow, I like that room. What a great idea. All right, so we have the little teddy bears picnic back there. And I do have the code for those antique doors. I'll be sure to include that in the description box. Heading over the little natural bridge area. More mushroom decor and a little grasshopper in a cage. All the little touches just make up a really cute and fun island. All right, let's go see where this leads, this little Mario pipe. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh, it leads to the birthday party. Oh my gosh, how fun. This is so adorable. I'm gonna sit down and have a slice of cake. It's white cake with strawberry filling. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then I believe she has a DIY um, table down here check it out so she can do all of her crafting that is so darling oh my gosh can you even believe it what a super fabulous idea oh did you notice that she had sakura blossoms on the ground i love that code just makes her island look more filled up and finished and of course we have Able Sisters look at these cute little outfits out front of Able Sisters I like those oh my gosh it's a million dollar crown a million dollar fairy crown on display I don't know if you've tried to buy the million dollar princess crown before I've never had a million dollars to buy one so And then just heading back this way. Oh, check out the cliffs up here. She's got the, the reindeer, the pink reindeer, and some of the bunny day items. There's a little fairy door for one of the fairies. Oh my heavens, what a great idea for the or organ. So I just found out, like I think it was two days ago, that you could actually play the organ. I didn't know it made noise. I am so surprised. I guess I should have known since you can play all the instruments. But the organ is from the wedding event, which is going on right now in the month of June. So if you don't have the wedding items, be sure to participate in the wedding event or if you need new stuff or more stuff. So, oh, I love the little angel in the sand. 
Look, that little gnome is fishing. She even had some gold roses out on her beach. That is really, really fun and cute for a fairy island. I love the egg balloons. Anything that is like in those fairy colors, you should place them out. What the heck? Is that a witch's brew up there? What is happening? Oh my gosh, what is happening? All right, so we need to go up there and check it out soon. So we've got the drum set out here on by the water. And Dom is hanging out. Dom, you're so lucky to live on such a beautiful, gorgeous island. Look, she's got more little ponds. Oh my gosh, there's a there's a rose bed. We have to lay on the rose bed. Oh my gosh, beautiful. How beautiful. That is like a perfect picture. If you were gonna take a picture of your little fairy, that is a perfect picture spot. And then we've got a little cafe, place to take your mom to lunch and have some delicious carrot cake. What is that? What is that? Is that a fish fossil coat on the... I don't even know. All right, so heading over here, more lilies of the valley to show that she is a five-star island. That's really nice. And the fountain on the beach. I would have never thought to put a fountain on the beach. More gold roses. I think she placed the gold roses out here on the sand because it complements the sand. You know, you keep all the pastel flowers on the inside of the island and then you can just add a little bit of bling, I guess, to the beaches. All right, so let's check out why there's a witch's brew up here. Oh my gosh, a poison apple. Oh no, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh no, what happened? It looks like the, the gnomes are having a little funeral for Snow White. The witch must have fed her that poison apple. Hopefully the prince will come and give her a kiss and wake her up from her, her sleep. Or is that Sleeping Beauty? Oh dear, I don't, I, got, I think I got my fairy tales mixed up. But hopefully the prince will come and revive Snow White. And I'm just hopping. Oh dear, now I'm stuck. Hi, Diane. If Diane would just move, I could go. It doesn't look like she's going to move though. Excuse me, Diana. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna hop back over. Oh, now she moves. Silly Diana. And the big, beautiful butterfly. Oh, should we go look at the wishing well? You know, on that um, fairy tale where she's wishing in the well. See how gorgeous the gold roses look down here on the beach? They just look so pretty. Yeah, this is where you can throw in a coin and make a wish. I'm not sure if I can vault across here. Nope, I can't. All right, we'll have to do it the old fashioned way which is climbing up with our ladder, hopping across or going across the bridge. Oh my gosh, there's a pine cone. Check out the little pile of cherry blossoms in the pine cone and the little tiny mushroom. So I don't know what Ruby is trying to do. I think she's trying to hop over there again and now she's stuck. <laughs> okay, we'll just go around, we'll go around. That's adorable. Two little mushroom stools to sit on and have a little cup of coffee or tea. And 
You can see the fairy circle from above. Ooh, a golden axe. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. She must have done something amazing to earn a golden axe. All right, let's just check out the beaches. Ooh, we have a little tiki bar where you can get a fruity foo-foo drink. I would like a Mai Tai, please. Oh, and chicken and chicken skewers out on the barbecue. I forgot about those. I love chicken skewers. I think I would like to have one of those. Oh, and the noodle slide is down here. Oh, this is beautiful. I love how natural her beaches look. She's made them look so natural. Another wishing well. And the fairy house. All right, I'm not even gonna guess which villager lives here. I've lost track of what villagers have which house, but I think that I think that this villager is really lucky to have a fairy circle in front of their house. Also, when creating your fairy island, um, add some bamboo trees because look how nice that tree looks in front of her house. And always, always, always put hedges in between your fence pieces to just break them up and make them look a little less harsh, you know, and less, a little less, you know, like a, like a corral or whatever where he would keep cows. I just think the hedges soften things up a lot. And I love how she's put balloons here and there. Oh my gosh, I gotta go buy some balloons. Speaking of that, there is a website where if you're missing items and you're just impatient, you don't know when you're gonna get them in your game, you can always go to this website where they sell um, furniture and other Animal Crossing items at, for a really good price. I'm not sure if they have DIY recipes, but I'm pretty sure they have furniture items that you can buy. And then the person that runs the website will deliver them to your island. It's like magic, like fairy magic. Sprinkle a little pixie dust and you can get any item in the game that you want. So here we are at Nook's Cranny. So I'll include that in the description box below as well as any custom codes I'm able to find, which I know for sure I have the lily pad, the water and the rock stone pathway and also the mushroom like fairy ring. Look at this delicious strawberry cake. Oh my gosh, my favorite. I love strawberry. Anything strawberry. Absolutely love it. Look at the terraforming up here. It's so pretty with the waterfalls. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So she has done a really a wonderful job on her fairy core island. I love the little puddles with the little frogs in them. And, oh my gosh, did you see that little windmill on the bench back there? It's like she went to fairy school and learned how to make a really cute fairy island. All right, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed this island tour as much as I have. Be sure to give Leslie some love. Here's the website that I was talking about where you can get nook miles or bells or furniture. And we'll see you in our next video. Have a magical fairy day. Bye everyone.